Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Zinc oxide eugenol materials are used both as liners and as bases. The Kerr Cavitec, which was a two-paste system zinc oxide eugenol, was used as a lining agent in thin layers. This is a rather weak cement. The Kalk ZOE B and T is a zinc oxide eugenol cement of a powder and liquid combination, which forms a rather hard, strong cement used as a base beneath amalgam restorations. This can also be used as a base beneath other types of restorative materials. The B and T powder is to be measured volumetrically using a plastic cup. The liquid will be measured volumetrically using the dropper. These will be deposited upon a parchment pad to be mixed together with a heavy stainless steel spatula. Following the mixing to the proper consistency, this material will be carried to the prepared cavity using the number one filling porcelain or plastic instrument and then contoured with the double-ended Wesco tapered plugger. The powder is dispensed, again, volumetrically using the plastic scoop, dipping into the powder and flushing the material from the, the scoop and depositing now onto the parchment pad. We'll be using a two-drop mix, and therefore a second scoop will be placed alongside of the first. And then, depending upon the need for additional powder, uh, we'll place an additional amount up in the upper corner uh, of the parchment pad. The powder-liquid proportioning is only an educated guess. And therefore, we have the additional material if this is needed. The liquid will be, again, proportioned by bringing material up into the dropper about halfway. We'll dispense a drop back into the bottle and place two drops onto the parchment pad. The material then will be brought together uh, using the heavy bladed spatula, although this is not a critical mixing procedure or mixing time, we'll attempt to bring about the heavy putty-like consistency in approximately 30 seconds. With the original two scoops of powder brought into the material, we see that this is still an insufficient amount to get us to the heavy consistency that we wish to achieve for ease of manipulation. Therefore, more powder is being used. Now we're reaching that heavy putty-like mass a material that can now be brought together, pulled off to the side, and brought into a rope form. In carrying the material then to the prepared cavity, we might first dip the plastic instrument in the powder to carry over and take a portion of the material Bring this to the prepared cavity. A second 
portion then might be used for an appropriate amount of material. This brought into the prepared cavity and placed. Then we might move on to the use of the double-ended Wesco plugger, again dipped into the remaining powder in order to bring about the contouring uh, of the material and minimize the sticking of the material to the instrument. So we have now proportioned, properly mixed, and have then carried forth the material into the prepared cavity, the B and T base zinc oxide eugenol. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.